Time to see if Benny accepted the baby chicks we got her. Aww, he's such a good mama, Benny. <laughs> to rain so we'll check on them again in a little bit let's go check on the chickens buddy let's go check for eggs and see how the chickens are Alright, so the baby chicks were given to Benny last night, and it is now morning, so we're going to go check and see how they're doing. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, babies. <laughs> This is Operation Success. <laughs> Good job, Mama. Beautiful babies. So we got these babies from the feed store yesterday. And Benny's been broody for a little over a week. Uh, and I just slipped him under her last night when we got home. And took the egg out that she was sitting on. And she accepted them and it's protecting them. As you can hear. She's all poofed out <laughs> and doing a great job. So we're very excited about that. Good job, Mama. Go in here and check on the rest of the girls. See how everyone is doing. Good morning, babies. No, you can't go outside today. Hi, Pebbles. Hi, Bam Bam. Flash. Willow and Bamboa finally hit a grow spurt. And we got Lily and Blaze. Uh, since we don't know what happened with our beloved Lulu or Olive Egger. Um, I did go ahead and get some uh, electrolytes. Gosh, sorry guys. It's been a hard two days, so... Uh, but I did get electrolytes and put it in their water as well as uh, bit our eggs. Put some garlic powder on their feed uh, just to ensure that everyone 
Faye's happy in case it was an illness, but uh, she was perfectly fine the night before, and then uh, when I came out yesterday morning, as y'all know, uh, she was no longer with us, went on to a better place. That is probably, to me, the uh, hardest part about having chickens, because um, you do get attached to them very much, and uh, sometimes, unfortunately, you do lose some, uh, and it never gets easier. think in the year and a half we've done this we've lost two which as I told y'all in our previous video um, our year in review uh, the first one we lost was a lesson we had to learn the hard way uh, by having a dust bath box that we had uh, my husband had handmade for them I had set it too close to the walls and her little neck had got caught in between there and she ended up breaking her neck um, but we're still clueless as to what happened to our Lulu. Um, but we did get the two babies yesterday. Blue Americana, which we named Liberty. And then a Buff Orpington that we named Buffy. Um, Still not sure what kind of bantams we got. The bantam butts is what I call them. Uh, Willow and Balboa. Looks like they're finally starting to grow. I'm so excited to see what they turn out looking like. So yeah, we've got a Buff Orpington now, a Blue Americana, and of course our two Silkies, our Salmon Favorite, our two Bard Rocks, our two Ice Browns, and then our Crested Cream Leg Bar. Who's always very stylish in the morning. Good morning, Flash. <laughs> I'm excited that our uh, pretty silky accepted the chicks. And she's always been a great mama. Uh, we just never had. We did try one other time. Sorry. Um, I know I was going to put it into the video, but I just wanted to mention we did try when we got uh, the two bantam butts to put them in with Flash, um, but I guess uh, she wasn't uh, broody enough yet, so she didn't accept them, so... She's been broody for about a week, week and a half now, and she accepted the new additions that we got yesterday just fine. So just make sure that you let them be broody for at least a week before you try introducing the baby chicks. And uh, they do have to be um, a day or a couple days old. Um, usually any older than that and you take a risk of them not uh, accepting them as theirs uh, but we just 
Okay, Bam Bam. Why is she saying that? Mm -hmm. She's saying good morning, <laughs> Nyla. She saw you walk in. Uh, anyway, uh, we put them in last night with her. With her, uh, I took the egg out from under her that she was laying on. We closed the coop so that the other hens couldn't bother her, and we just slipped the babies underneath, and she took to them right away. So, anyway, if you have any questions or recommendations. Uh, feel free to put them in the com comments. We always do love hearing from you guys. And then uh, we do love hearing where y'all are from too. So make sure to put where you're from in the comments. Thanks for joining in and have a blessed week. Say goodbye girls. Remember to hit those like, subscribe, and share buttons if you would. And remember... Jesus is the real MVP, so have a blessed week, and until next time, have a clucking good time.